Hey y'all, it's Carmen Michaels. Woo -hoo. It is uh, Wednesday, December the 3rd, and uh, I forgot I had to make a video. I made one in two weeks, and I had forgot. Because I had been a busy, 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 busy elf. So, uh, got a couple things I want to show you today. Sorry, last week's video was all jiggity jaggedy. Uh, my camera kind of went on me, and uh, so I had to cut it short. And I was, uh, but I'm going to show you the one thing that I was going to show you last week, this week, plus something else. So, you're going to be excited and you're going to go, oh, who knew? But, uh, it's Christmas time, it's Christmas time. And everybody needs to be in a festive mood. Everybody needs to be happy. Everybody needs to love everybody. And quit hating. Hating's hard. Loving's easy. Well, it's not easy, but hating's harder than, than that because it takes a lot of energy to hate somebody. I know some people I don't really like a whole lot, but I don't hate nobody. Well, I do hate one person, but she knows who she is. But other than that, that's life. But we're going to uh, talk about some things. Um, got a lot of cool things going on with the whole ho ho holiday season. I uh, went to, had a good Thanksgiving, went to Dollywood, uh, saw Rudolph and Clarice, and no, Clarice, uh, we saw Cornelius and the Abominable Bull, 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 uh, had a great time that day, and saw Dolly, cause she's in everything, she figured out how to get them boobs in every show she has there, so, Found out she can record herself. She can put her anywhere she wants to be. I think she's real. I don't think she's real. I think they've just made a whole bunch of her and they're just stacking her around wherever they want to put her now. So, uh, that's how I feel about it. But, uh, got a little craft show thing next weekend at the Willow Tree Coffee Shop in Johnson City. It's on uh, December the 13th from 10 to 3 and uh, supposed to be a whole lot of vendors there but we're going to be set up and have our uh, cool things from bits and pieces up there lots of Christmas ornaments and uh, fun festival things um, I'm going to have my pop bottle snowflakes there so come and get you some they will be a dollar a dollar I think I got a dollar fifty a piece on them at the flea market. But they're gonna be a dollar fifty each or a twelve dollars for a dozen. So you know you want to come and get some of those. They're really pretty. My mom has them on her tree right now, and they're cute. They give him that fall -la 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 look. But uh, come on out and see us next Saturday. It's at the Willow Tree Coffee Shop in Johnson City. It's on Main Street. It's downtown on Main Street. You'll find it. Just come look for it. But, I uh, got a couple things I want to show you. And, uh, last week I was going to show you, this friend of mine told me about this, you get this netting stuff that like, uh, oranges and fruits and stuff like that comes in. This one had marbles in it, but you see I've done lost all my marbles. But, uh, it had marbles in it, and what had happened was I lost my marbles. Ha ha ha. But uh, she said she takes these and never throws them away. She saves them because what she does is she takes a bar of soap. Irish Spring. Mm. And she puts her soap in these little bags and ties a little knot up in it. And she said she puts these at all her sinks and in her shower and stuff. And when you go to use your soap, it makes it lather better and you just bathe with it or you wash your hands with it and it makes it scrub off the goo and the poo and all of the shoe shoe off your hands. Isn't that cool? So save your little mesh bags and don't throw them away. And uh, if it runs out of soap, I gotta do. And see, well, the cool thing is when this bar of soap gets down to a little nubby, you nub, 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 you just open it back up, untie it, take it, throw another bar down in there. And then that little nub's still going to be in there with that big bar and it's going to just kind of mush to it and it'll just, you won't ever have to throw a little piece of soaps away. 
now that I'm covered in stuff to cut, there you go. But uh, save these little baggies or save that messy stuff and use this to uh, make soap bags at all your sinks and in your bathtub and stuff. And it really works good to wash, wash your animals too because it kind of helps it lather up and it scrubs it and it gets it more cool beans and potato chips. Well, that's my helpful hint for today. Now I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas ornament out of nothing but a piece of paper. No bottles today. Sorry. No bottles. But what I'm going to show you how to make is this really pretty. It's kind of a... I don't know what you would call it. It's just a pretty Christmas ornament. I made this one big so it could show up on camera. But you can make them any size you want to. And you can use different colors of paper. You can use construction paper. You can use cardstock. You can go to like... The, uh, the Hobby Lobby or Michael's or somewhere that has scrapbooking and you could get like scrapbooking paper. You could even use wrapping paper and your ornaments on your tree would match your gifts under your tree. That would be amazing. Do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. And you can get wrapping paper for like a dollar. But all you do is you take your paper and you fold it into a square. Fold your paper into a little square. and you use your paper scissors, not your fabric scissors, and you cut that into a square. And then you can, uh, you can fold it again. I don't, because I don't want my, my, my snowflakey thing to be bent. But uh, cut up about halfway and cut three little cuts. Okay, and then what you get is you got this little thingy. It looks like that. It's like a weird Christmas tree. But you open that up and you hold it to where the cut edges are on the side of the east and west end. I'm using duct tape because it's the only tape I can find right now because all my scotch tape is in the gift wrapping area of my home and that is in the back room and I forgot to get it until just this very minute. But if I put duct tape on it, you can see where it goes and it'll be easy for you to understand it. And I know I don't never rip duct tape, but I'm ripping duct tape right now, so shut up. This duct tape sucks. This dollar store, it sucks. But what you do is you take, you start with the first one, and you roll it, hold it, and roll it towards you. Oh, this duct tape is my finger, it's not sticking to my paper. And then turn it over, just completely turn it over, and take the next two, and fold them to you. And tape it down. And guess what you do next? You turn it over again. And you pull them to you. And you tape them down. And when you get that done, you turn it over again and you tape the last two. Now see how simple that was? Alrighty. And when you get it to that point, you got your pretty little ornament. Take your hole puncher, put your little hole at the top. Now I'm using a little pipe cleaner. You can use a little piece of string or yarn or whatever you want it to. But uh, put your little pipe cleaner to it. Twist it. Dun, 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 dun. Let it go back down there so it goes perfectly. And ta-da, you have an ornament. And you can sit while you watch TV and make a hundred thousand million of these. And you can do your whole Christmas tree or anything. And it's like, if you've got like a big old honking Christmas tree, you could do these, or you could hang these down from like garland or something. And if you made these out of a poster board and covered them in a, like duct tape or something waterproof, you can hang these outside in your tree. If you had some plastic, some heavy plastic. If you got that like, um, that foam at Hobby Lobby the kids cut, and you cut them out of those, and stapled them together on the ends. You can hang those in your trees out in your yard and make the prettiest little Christmas ornaments for your tree in your yard. Wouldn't that be special? You can even hang these in your neighbor's tree. And 
and be nice to your neighbors. Ta da da. All right. Give you a cute idea, and if you can't figure it out, send me an email, and I'll be tell you how to do it again. Cause it, but it's not hard if you, if you really want to know how to do it. Uh, just look on Pinterest; they're on there. That's where I saw the idea from. All righty. Well, uh, there's your little uh, Christmas ornament for today, and I gave you a little helpful hint how to clean yourself. So you smell good, and you don't know, stink like a, a, a reindeer. And uh, don't forget to. Don't forget to send your uh, Christmas cards because if you don't get them now, they won't get there in time. And if you're going to send me a present, right now it's time to send it because if you don't send it now, it won't get here in time. And you know you want to send me a present because I'm Carmen and everybody loves Carmen. So, uh, come and see us at the flea market this weekend. We will be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because they're open that way now. Like we need to be there on Friday. Comes. But if you're out there and you're watching the video and you want to come and there's not a lot of people, come Friday because I'll be there going to stay with Hari because there's nobody here. But come and see us Friday because we'll be making an ornament and things like that for our show next weekend. So uh, come see us Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from uh, 10 to 4. Friday we might be there till 3. But uh, come and see us. And uh, we're in building 12. That's the big old, big old building. And we're in the back far corner. We got lights are going and things are twirling. And uh, we're on the food court side. So if you come over where the food court is, we got new Asian food now. It's pretty good. Uh, got two Mexican foods, Chinese food, American food, hamburger, a pickle on a stick, and a candy nut. So come on out and get you some snacky snack, snack, snack. And then come on back and see us and get you some Christmas ornaments, ornaments, ornaments. But uh, until next week, this is Carmen Michael. Love each other. Be good to each other. Go out and do something special. Go shopping. Buy me a present. Uh, gas is cheap now. I just came to Colonial Heights. And at Walmart, or at the, uh, Murphy at Walmart. And at the Food City in Colonial Heights, gas is $2.48. And if you got a card at the Food City, you can get it for $2.33. Yeah, 33 cents. So you got enough money to buy me a card and put some money in it or to buy me a present and send it to me. So there you go. Hmm. Go get you some free, some cheap gas. Go shopping and buy you a Christmas ornament to send to me. And until next week, when I have another great Christmas ornament and probably some kind of cool, helpful hint and fun tip for you, uh, this is Carmen Michael. Go out and uh, take a gift to some child who needs it. Take a can of food to somebody who's hungry. Take a coat to somebody who's cold. But remember, I'm Carmen Michaels, and I love you. I'm on your side. Wow.